Among the questions I receive a lot, one of them is about the way I set my steering wheel for the best feeling and realism in Euro Truck Simulator 2. So in today's video we'll go through the way I do this process. I will first talk about the steering wheel settings. I personally use the PXNV10, I guess everybody knows how to plug it into the computer so I won't waste any time on that, especially because the PXN is plug and play and it can be set up from its smartphone app. Which by the way is pretty handy because you can quickly edit something even while driving. I will leave a link to this app down in the description so let's just get right into it. When it comes to the angle, I set it to 900 degrees to have the most rotation possible, force feedback refers to the game internal force feedback strength and I usually keep it around 82 and same for the spring force. Damping and friction are set to zero because I usually don't like this effect but you can try it if you want, it basically simulates the interaction between the in-game vehicle with different objects and surfaces. And finally the inertia force which I keep around the value of 14. Now let's tweak the in-game settings. To do that you have to go into the settings tab, then into controls. First thing to check is if you have any steering wheel selected. If you do, also check the controller subtype, it must be on wheel of course. I won't talk about the transmission now because I will do a detailed video on that so we'll skip this part. Now let's go through the most important settings. I keep the steering sensitivity to maximum and the steering non-linearity to about 25%. This will help you be more precise at higher speed, especially on highway driving. When it comes to the force feedback, I keep the overall gain at about 90%, then centering at low speed, centering at high speed and internal friction to about 50% or a bit more. Now this is very important because you want your steering wheel to center fast at low speeds but in the same time it shouldn't be too hard to turn, for example when you park the vehicle, also it should have sufficient resistance at high speed for you to be able to turn precisely. Stuff like engine resonance, terrain surface bumps and the rest of steering wheel kind of vibrations I like to keep at 0% as I said before because I don't really like this kind of feedback myself but I heard that most of people enjoy it so feel free to try and set it as you like. That's about it when it comes to steering wheel feedback and overall feeling. I have a couple of tutorials coming up for the key binding and transmission settings for ETS2 of course so until the next one stay tuned.